What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV, and today I'm going to do a full review on a fragrance from the house of Perry Ellis, Perry Ellis, that I got at my local Marshalls. So, and that fragrance is from the house of Perry Ellis. This is Perry Ellis from Man 360 Green. There you go. Here's this ridiculously tall bottle. This fragrance ran me $17 and some change. Here is the front. Comes in this like this silicone type of a box. It's an EDT concentration. This is a 100 milliliter size bottle. Got some ingredients and all that fun stuff on the back. On the bottle, you get a snug fit and it snaps into place lightly. You got this faded sticker on a batch code at the bottom. The atomizer on this thing is wonderful. Pushes out a nice amount of that juice. What do I get out of this fragrance? This is a nice fragrance. For the price, it's pretty good in terms of smell and longevity, which I will get into a little bit later. But initially in this fragrance, you get this nice, juicy, fresh, green apple fruitiness, as well as a little bit of a bitter, inky type of a forest-like earthiness that comes behind that. That may sound attractive, unattractive, but trust me, this smells pretty good. So the notes are, according to Fragrantica, they don't list it like base, middle, or top or anything like that. It just says sage, moss, green apple, sea notes, vetiver, tonka bean, cardamom, and grapefruit. So all of these fra all of these notes that's in this fragrance merges together quite well. But mainly what I get out of this fragrance is green apple, some of that vetiver for that dry, dusty masculinity. That sage gives it a little bit more of a soft, mild type of a peppery nuance, but not too much. It's not really a fresh, spicy type of a fragrance, at least to me. Then the grapefruit gives it like, you know, a strong tart-like fruitiness, which is not too tart or too strong, it's just soft. Mainly, I just give that green apple and that some sea notes. It's subtle in the background. The tonka bean gives it like, you know, a dry type of a fruitiness, kind of like a kind of a slight smoky type of a nutty type of a nuance in the terms of, you know, the sweetness in this fragrance, which is not too noticeable. You know, it's chilling in the background. Mainly in the moss. The moss gives it that, you know, that, that inky type of a forest-like type of an earthiness when it comes to this fragrance. Mainly I get moss and green apple. Anything else like, you know, as it dries down, you get that warm, you get like a warm, sweet type of a um, vibe coming from the tonka bean and that cardamom. This fragrance is not bad at all, especially for the price. This smells amazing. Also on Fragrantica, a lot of people didn't comment on this. There's not really a lot of talk on this particular Perry LS 360 fragrance like all the other ones. But this one is kind of like, you know, lost somewhere. You know, people just forgotten about it. But that's why I'm here to share some light because this one is pretty nice. So the total longevity that I got out of here was a good four to five hours. Projection was good within the 30 minutes to an hour. Then it's set close to the skin after that, giving me the total longevity of four to five hours. But if you overspray with this, I highly recommend when you uh, overspray with this because that's when you're gonna get a better projection, better longevity if you overspray. I can guarantee you. If you go light on this, you know, it's gonna be a little bit lackluster in the uh, performance department. But if you overspray with this, it's solid. Trust me. Good for spring and summertime good for high heat situations, it's not cloying, it's not gonna offend too many people, at least to me, because that green apple is what really draws you in. You know, that fresh fruitiness, then you got that sweetness, that dry sweetness from the cardamom and that tonka bean, and the uh, the, uh, the strong tartness from that grapefruit, which backs up that apple, making it a little bit more stronger. If you see this one, pick this up. Pick this up, especially for the price. This size bottle for the price is excellent. And a steal, if you will. And uh, I actually enjoyed this quite a bit while testing it. Didn't get any compliments. I haven't uh, worn it in public yet, but I will be keeping this in my collection. It has a special place 
in my collection. Yes, it does. Age group, if you like it, wear it, no matter what age you are. But this is more of a middle age on up type of a fragrance. It has that appeal that's a little bit grown up, a little bit masculine, a little bit of a mature type of a scent, not too much. But uh, yeah, if you're middle age on up, you can definitely rock this, even if you're a younger guy. But specifically, specifically, I will say middle age on up. Should you buy this fragrance? Yes, you should. If you're a fan of like, you know, fruity, masculine type of a sense with a little bit of like, you know, earthiness and a little bit of a, a warm sweetness to back up that uh, freeness as well, and you, you get this and it's right up your alley for $17 and some change, can't go wrong. You can do a lot worse with it, trust me. But yeah, this would be a good pickup. When you overspray with this and the heat hits you, it's gonna boom. At least on me, it's going to boom, boom, boom. So yeah, if you want uh, less performance, if you're just casually going somewhere, like doing a quick move, less sprays. If you're gonna be out and about for a long period of time and you want to be noticed, overspray. But I will say kind of dial down the sprays a little bit in the heat because it does, this ha does have a little bit of complexity in terms of those masculine notes of vetiver and moss and stuff like that. You know, it could throw a little, it could throw some people off just a little bit, but if you don't care, spray away. So that's all that I got for Scent Talk TV. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, you know what to do. You gotta like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there, be blessed, and have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace. Ooh.